Hey everybody, we're here in Port Washington, Wisconsin, and this town has a really cool vibe. We are at the Port Washington Harbor. Uh, the location we're at right now is called Coal Dock Park. There's the power plant over here, and there's a walkway that you can take to a little natural area. So we'll be hitting this area first, and then going out over by the marina. So we'll see what we can find here today. Once a commercial fishing and shipping town, Port Washington is now a popular tourist destination. With beautiful greenish-blue water, shopping areas, and a maritime vibe, Port Washington is certainly an attractive place to visit. It's also one of the hot spots on the western shores of Lake Michigan for birding. Today, we're starting from Cold Dock Park and making our way around the harbor to see what bird species we can find. In a canal just south of the parking lot, we notice our first bird on site, a great blue heron. Also around the canal are mallards, Canada geese, and some other common summer species. We just checked out the great blue heron. We also heard a song sparrow. There's some robins over here as well as some blackbirds. And we're gonna cross over the bridge now to the little uh, natural restored area. See what we can find over there. We walk the bridge over the water to get to the bird sanctuary, a spot that is usually good for an interesting bird or two. This is the bird sanctuary that's right off of Cold Dock Park. There's a little loop that runs around the whole thing where there's a tiny pond in the middle. You can occasionally find some migratory ducks in the pond. I've found snow buntings and other birds that like to gravel on this road too. So you can occasionally find some good things here. Also, this is right by the power plant, which has a particular bird that lives here that doesn't live in a whole lot of other places in the area. This power plant is where one of the sleekest birds in the state makes its home, the peregrine falcon. All right, well up here we have one of the peregrine falcons and this is a nesting pair and they have a nest box up on the power plant too. But oftentimes if you just look around, I think the other one actually just flew in right now. Um, you'll be able to see both of them. The one is calling too. Um, but sometimes they'll just be flying around over here, but definitely keep an eye on the actual building and then make sure to check the nest box too. These falcons can sometimes be seen flying around the harbor, but the most reliable place to see them is sitting high on the stacks of the plant. Peregrine falcons are a really interesting bird. They're actually the fastest flyer of any animal in the entire animal kingdom. And occasionally here you can see that on display as they kind of dive bomb each other, dive bomb other birds. There have been times we saw them interact with gulls. It's a really unique bird to be able to see. This is one of the few places along the coastline of Lake Michigan where they're actually pretty available to be seen. There are some other places like down in Milwaukee you can find them, but this is one of the premier spots, I would say. After taking some time to observe these majestic raptors, we continued around the loop that overlooks a small beach and gives great views of the lake and surrounding landscapes. Here we also encountered some swallow species. Here we have some northern ruffling swallows and they're sitting up on a tree that's overlooking the water. And uh, we've seen ruffling swallows so far and then we've seen a lot of barn swallows. So this has been a really productive place for these birds to be catching insects and then chilling out on some of these branches. We left the bird sanctuary and moved on to the east side of Cold Dock Park. After a brief stop at the pavilion, we continued on to a raised boardwalk where we came upon break walls loaded with gulls. We're standing by one of the areas where it's kind of filled in by rocks on all sides and there's some water in the middle. And this is a really good place to find waterfowl at different times of the year. So during migration, you'll get stuff like uh, redheads, ruddy ducks. Uh, during the winter, there's often a lot of scop in there too. And sometimes we've got double-crested cormorants perched on the rocks. Today, we just have ring-billed gulls and herring gulls out there. You can also find a lot of the gulls in the main marina too. During any time of year, one of the primary birding attractions in Port Washington is a large number of gulls. Today, the harbor was dominated by herring and ring-billed gulls, but during the warmer months, Franklins and Laughing Gulls can be found here. In winter, northern gull species such as Iceland, Glaucus, Great Blackback, and Lesser Blackback move down from the Arctic and frequent the break walls. While there are several places in Port Washington to look for gulls, one of the best places to find other rare birds is the harbor just north of Coldock Park. 
We're here in the main harbor in Port Washington, and this is where a lot of the best birds come every year. Uh, pretty much guarantee red-throated loons will be here at some point during March or February. Um, there's been a slaty back gull that we've seen here, the western grebe, and then a lot of waterfowl here during the winter when it's the only open water for most of the coast. From Coldock Park, we made our way to the area across the water known as Rotary Park. This park provides a green space right next to the lake. Although there is sometimes heavy foot traffic in this area, many bird species can be found in the trees and on the water's edge. We're at the inner part of the marina, and you can see that this is a trailside birding hotspot. There's a lot of little baby mallard ducks here, and then there's a juvenile male wood duck that's been perusing the area. It's a really pretty looking male, really nice place to come. You can see off to my left, there's kind of a park, and then to the right is where all the boats are stored. Really neat area, very pleasant to be here, even if there's not a lot of birds, but there are some good things out here today, so it's very nice. Uh, I always remember this long-tailed duck that was here one year and it was a beautiful male that we got really close views of over here. There's a lot of great places here for rare birds to show up and uh, we've had some really memorable ones over the years. After we spent some time watching the ducks, we head to our final location on the Port Washington coast. We walked north of the boat docks until we got to the break wall walking path. We're at one of the areas that's on the north side of the Port Washington Harbor. In this area, they actually made a walk that goes onto one of the break walls. And in this little area between the boat and that break wall, there's a sandbar where a lot of gulls, a lot of ducks hang out. So we've seen some really neat birds over here. There's been a laughing gull that we've seen. What else have we seen Harlequin over here? duck was Harlequin hanging out duck. here for a while. We just had a couple of hooded mergansers mixed in with the mallards too. And then there's actually a walkway that is sometimes closed out here, but it takes you out to a lighthouse. Um, that you can go visit. I don't think you're able to go inside, but it's definitely a cool view. And we currently have some really nice mist over on this side as well. So I think we're gonna go check out that walkway, see if there's any gulls out there. With the fog rolling in, we made our way onto the break wall. The open water on one side and the shallow calm water on the other side made for an interesting experience as the sun started to set. This is our last stop for the day in Port Washington Harbor. We're at the tip of that walk that takes you on the break wall. There is the lighthouse area behind us. It's absolutely beautiful right now with the sun starting to go down and some mist over the lake. Uh, had a great time birding today. And during the different seasons, you'll find different stuff here, but year round, it's a really beautiful place to come bird. Definitely, normally this area is more open and you can walk down further, but it's closed for repairs right now. So this will. This is uh, unfortunately our last stop of the day, but saw a lot of cool species and definitely recommend you checking out uh, Port Washington if you're ever in the area. It's a really cool place with a lot of unique bird species to see. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badderland Birding. Right now there's a blue heron there and you can occasionally find mallards. Great blue things. heron. Great blue heron, the greatest Don't take heron. away his greatness. Oh, hi. We didn't see you there. We'd like to talk about a very important cause today. What cause is that? <laughs> Birds. <laughs> you like I threw it back to you? You're like, take it away. What, me? He just did a Sasquatch turn.